Oh, oh, stats. Wow. Speaking oh, of the uh, Cardinals, Buda Baker was at the team's facility today. Ian Rappaport, uh, NFL Network, said uh, they reported that uh, he made an appearance. The minicamp starts tomorrow, and I guess he uh, has not been at the uh, at the facility uh, any of the off seasons so, of this off season. So uh, here he is. He's going to be there, well, and uh, that's a good sign. He said he was going to show. He he already was on record saying that he would he show. Promise that. Yes, for for yeah, he told uh, he told Cam, uh, Cameron Cox from uh, yep. Channel Twelve, right? Yep. I think that's what it was the first person to talk about that about two weeks ago that he would be there. Mm-hmm. And uh, I think you know he's the leader on this team. Do now, we read? Right? Do we read too much into that, guys? Or what, do we that read he's it, there? That it's a good thing that maybe he's coming because obviously he wants a new contract. We know that, and then now I think he he's there to support. Now my question will be: Okay, this will be good. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday is the mandatory mini camp, and then that's it until training camp. Right. So if there's no progression between, uh, let's say Thursday. They're opening a training camp, and there's no extension. There's no whatever. It's pretty much, hey, Buddha, you got a signed contract. There it is. Does he si- show up as a sign? I wouldn't say protest. Just say, well, I'm not showing up. I'm going to sit out. Yeah, I don't see that in, in Buddha's DNA, but business is business. I understand that. And if he feels he's going to be on a rebuilding team for the next two, three you know, years. Two years no more, at least. Hopefully no more. And he says, look, I am I'm out playing the guy, the five other safeties in front, four other safeties in front of me, currently out playing them, all pro, et cetera, et cetera. I deserve that extension, which I've already outplayed, and sits. Or does he show up? And hopefully, waits for that to get worked out. That that's going to be really interesting to see how that plays out. Knowing Buda Baker, how his heart is with this team, but. He wants to be paid like the top guys are. Okay, let me let me drop this on you, and then you tell me, Manuch, could they build, because I'm not sure uh, all the technicalities about an NFL contract for a player, mm-hmm. could they build in on his current contract, could they build in incentives where he could make more money this season? No. They can't do that. No, that, that's all he's got. The contract is the contract. That, the CBA would not allow, allow that. Allow that. Okay. No, it's, the con- it's either you, uh, either you ex- they extend it. Okay. Now, maybe because there's no guaranteed money. He's got nothing left. No, he's got nothing two left. Years, yeah. yeah, that's yeah. it. So, so he's but what do you con- say when he comes out in February and says, you know, either trade me or make me the highest paid yeah. player in my at my position. And it, it's kind of contradictory that is showing up for the mandatory but I thought maybe all along he has said he would. The only reason I can think guys is that there's maybe some progress or some movement that 3 Michael minutes Bidwell and and uh and Monty Asaforth has stated to him, "Okay, let's we'll, we'll, we'll discuss it. Let's we'll move forward. We'll make it right for you." Okay. That that's the term that a lot of Man, they say we're going to make it right for you. We're going to make it make it good. So, yeah, but to answer your question, right? They can't. They've got to. Extend. Well, he got the payday right the last time, and he's probably he got to let try. What is he? Twenty seven, twenty years old. Yeah. Try to get another one. He's due to make thirteen million, this and year. then fourteen in the final two yeah. years of his. Day, and the other, so. the top guys in front are like eighteen, and 19, 19, 20 yeah. million, mm-hmm. and he's what seven grand behind. And I think one of them had the value was like twenty five million more, more. than his. Yeah, than his contract. The guy from. Um, the Chargers. Um, Derwin James. Oh, Derwin James. Yeah, Derwin James. Yeah, it's yeah. interesting, too, because Derwin James is the highest-paid safety, and Buddha wants to be the highest-paid safety. They have the same agent. Yeah, they do. So how does that they, work? Well, it's separate, separate teams, separate entities. And that agent can go, hey, look, I've got two of the top safety two minutes. playing. That's what he would go to the Cardinals with for negotiation. Then the Cardinals will go, well, he's got two years left. And then the agent will go, well, okay, um, Either trade him and or because we're not going to negotiate. Mm-hmm. We're going to. I want him up to where my other client is at this time. So I well, I think it's a good sign he's in. But then okay, we'll have to. We've got what four weeks till training, five weeks till training camp. Right. Is it, what but is it too soon? I mean, all right. He signs a four year contract extension worth fifty nine million. Right. In late 2020. 2020, right. Okay, so that's just three years ago, right? Mm -hmm. He got 33 million in guarantees, right? 22, which is fully guaranteed, and uh, he got a 10 million dollar signing bonus. He got a protected 7.1 million dollar option, which was due in 2021. Mm -hmm. He's gotten paid. It's not like he's broke. Yeah, he's gotten paid. (laughs) But I think where he's coming, and I just think you know, you you just got the extension less than three years ago. Yeah. But what he's looking at, he's going, hey, look. Um, I've one minute, one that. minute. I look at the other cops in front of me, 
and I need to do. I deserve to be at least there or close to there. And on top of that, if I'm going to be here for a redevelopment team for the next three years, two to three years, I want to be paid quite handsomely. Or if that can't work, please trade me to somebody else. But at that point in time, the trade, they're going to have to pick up his contract from there as well. What are you saying is either trade me or pay me? One of the two. I don't that's know. Why I, that's why I sense this thing. I just I just don't want the NFL to get become the NBA when it comes to player continues to dictate. Well, everything, but and Kyler Murray did that last year. He did. He totally did. I mean, he and wasn't how, even. How deserve, has that worked out? And he hasn't even been deserving of that extension. And Buda that, is deserving of uh, that extension. All right, we could point the finger on that one. I think we would all agree they should not have done that. Absolutely, oh, we, all we all agree, agree that. Yes, we Absolutely. do. And that's why that particular general manager is no longer in yeah. that in that yeah. in that role. But we, but, but you well, can't. You can't base it on him getting hurt and out for the year. You can't but do even, that. Even, I don't know. I just well, I'm not a Kyler Murray fan. Well, period. that's uh, fine. I mean, I don't. I don't think he's a leader. I don't think he's okay. Um, well, he's but, not deserving the contract. Number one, he doesn't. Fair. He doesn't meet the contract. He doesn't. He's not. His value is not that kind of contract scenario. Which you know, I don't know if it was the agent hoodwinked uh, Steve Kime at the time or Absolutely. whatever. Absolutely. So, but I mean, with Buda Baker, he's deserving of the extension. He's played hurt. And he's been available the last, what, five, six years he's been with the Cardinals. Mm -hmm. 